Hi, and welcome back to the Reham Radio channel. I decided that I want a small digital SWR power meter for my VHF and UHF operation. I want it to be small, light, and easy to read, and that it will cover the 144, 220, and 430 bands, as I do have equipment for all the three bands. In addition, I want it to be fit for portable use so I can take it with me to measure the SWR and power when I'm using uh, uh, my aero antenna when I'm working satellites. I did uh, an online search and found the SW102 from Surecom. I decided to give it a try and I will share with you uh, what I found. So this is the box of the meter. This is how it came. I'm not a favorite of uh, on opening boxes videos too much as it's boring and waste of time, I think. So a bit of magic. And there you go. So what in the box? So we have the Shurkum SW102 device itself. A uh, very tiny box, actually, you see, uh, if compared to the size of the hand. And this device came with the SO239 connectors. Note that there is another version that coming with the N-type version. So when you order it, choose uh, the right that's fit for you. Uh, also, you can find uh, the cable to charge it. I think this is the way. This is the port for the charging. There is a battery inside it, so it's great for portable use. Um, also, they have the, the manual and also uh, there is a ground plate and I will show you an example later what is the use for that. Uh, the main specification of that, uh, it's fit for the VHF, UHF and uh, more specifically uh, from the 125 megahertz to the 525 megahertz. So it will include all the uh, ham radio bands of the 144, 220 and 430. Uh, maximum power is up to um, uh, 120 watt. Um, note that uh, it contains a frequency meter, um, but the minimum, if you want to use that, the minimum power to use the frequency meter uh, will be uh, 0.5 watt and up. And last thing, it's not fit for DMR use. Uh, full details on how to operate it can be found in the documentation or on their website and I will leave uh, the link to the to the website and the documentation uh, in the uh, uh, description of this video. But it's a very simple uh, uh, operating. Um, you can operate very simple using these three uh, color uh, buttons. So uh, let's do some tests on each of the bands and see how it works. So. One more time, one more magic. So there you go. Everything is connected and all the environment is ready for testing. The transceiver is connected to the meter. So uh, let's uh, try and do some tests on all uh, of the bands. Okay, so we are ready for all the testing. So let's first power on. That's it, and before the testing I will just show you how the menu looks like. We'll choose the blue one. And uh, we can choose all the options from the menu using the red one. You can go down like that. Once you want to change something, just go left or right. Simple as that. And one thing I noticed and I want to show you is about the um, first option you see lights uh, off. And the second one is power off timer. Um, both of them are using the S for seconds, but this is wrong. This should be M for minutes. Looks like uh, a typo uh, in this version. So let's start with the actual test. We will start with the uh, VHF. Uh, we'll choose the center frequency of each band. Let's start with 146. And there you go, you see 146.00 sometimes 01, SWR 139 here, 137, and uh, we see the forward power, we see the reverse, um, all right, 
Okay, on the VHF, let's move to the 220 band. We will choose the center frequency of 2220. Let's give it a try. Yep, and it's 222001, SWR 187, 186. All right, read fine. Let's go for the uh, UHF uh, frequency 4350. Yeah, we see the frequency, we see all the details, so it looks like working on all the bands and it shows the uh, information very fast. Looks accurate, even so, though if you want to do some calibration, it's very easy um, with another uh, uh, meter and uh, you can change and do the adjustment for the, from the f uh, menu. Uh, one more trick that I found and I think it's nice to mention uh, is let's say that you want to uh, install this meter um, the opposite side so it's very simple just uh, use the uh, yellow uh, button and flip 180 degree so uh, you, have, you have the freedom to install it uh, the way it's better for you nice now about this ground plate piece the idea is the to help to you to check and to make a ground plan uh, if you want to check your handy antenna so the idea here is, is here we have the ground we can open that connect that plate and the antenna and here is the best way to check SWR status of the handheld antenna that's the setup as a summary this product answered my requirements and I'm very happy with it and I even recommend it for the use cases that I mentioned. I'm curious to check the SWR on my air antenna, so stay tuned for the video about it. Feel free to like and share and please subscribe here for more future videos. Thanks for watching and I hope it provides some information about this uh, great meter. Thank you and 73.